Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash, and those mad lads at Boer have done it again. This time, that's right, they have created this, the 10-inch tabletop RGB ring light. That is a very reflective box. 10-inch ring light with LEDs. I saw this at Walmart, and it was very difficult for me to pass up because, for one thing, it was in a mod, which is just a term, an internal term for a large cardboard presentation unit that has all kinds of different items in it and the prices are superimposed along the cardboard and they're bright and colorful and they say things like 488 this was twenty dollars twenty dollars regular price not even clearance and immediately i just kind of wrote it off as a gimmick i'm like there, there's there's no way this thing is useful it's going to be fun it's going to be good for a laugh video a goof a gaff it does led stuff and then i picked up the box and i looked at the back and besides these crazy lights and, and all kinds of, we'll get to that in a minute, we have this, past the reflection, eight special, no, not, not, not the special effects, this right here includes standard light mode. That, my friends, makes this purchase worth it out of the box. And I'll tell you why, the, uh, the 8-inch ring light is $25. The 8-inch standard white ring light is $25. Come with me, and I'm going to show you what I have. This is my setup, okay? That's my 8-inch ring light. It doesn't do, you know, a whole heck of a lot because I, I only have just bought this light, so now I can utilize 3-point lighting, which is a standard. This is my 12-inch Bower ring light. That's Earl Grey in a coffee cup, if you were wondering. And the 12-inch ring light, I don't know if it translates to video, but I have talked about it before, is not as bright as the 8-inch because it's got what looks to be the same amount of LEDs, just spread more thin. So the 12-inch uh, the being $36 and the 8-inch being $24, $25, maybe even more than that. And this being $20 just doesn't make any sense to me. When this has the LEDs and special effects and, and all the 12 levels of brightness and all the same hardware and everything, I don't get it. But we're here to do that. We're here to get it. So get it with me. You get your pizza tray, and then your pizza, your ring light pizza. Here's everything. Consider this the unboxing. You get another cardboard box. The cardboard box contains the Bower ball joint to quarter inch threaded screw mount. Uh, on the bottom of this is another threaded screw mount so you can attach this to a tripod or whatever you want. Those things are pretty high quality and they're they're not super easy to come by by themselves. So that, that thing is definitely valuable. Your quarter threaded screw flexible neck with ball head mount. This thing came with my 12 inch bower ring light, but it did not come with the eight inch because there's just not enough space within the eight inch to accommodate a smartphone mount. And then finally, this guy. Uh, these, I noticed, they're, they're pretty decent. They're not super cheap. They have lots of uh, area for grip. Uh, it's, it's just hard plastic. And then like, there's some sort of rubbery texture there at the end, it's like coated. And then there's a lip on each side to provide you with extra confidence that it's not going to throw your device across the room after you guys set it up. You thought the grip was to hold your phone. And this is the tripod. This I could do without. This has a huge base. It's easily bigger. I was actually, I wasn't doing it. I wasn't showing you. I was trying to compare it to my 12 inch ring light. And those little legs extend beyond 12 inches. So you need plenty of real estate on your desk to use this. I'm not going to use this. I will probably instead get myself a uh, pistol grip. I think that Zumi makes those, if I'm not mistaken, and use that because that has a much smaller profile. That's it. Looks good. Looks uh, looks normal. All right, the eight-inch Bower comes with cold shoe mounts on the top, left, right, and bottom, it looks like. The 12-inch ring light comes with these same cold shoe mounts in the same places. 
this has no cold shoe mounts. So this would be the one unadvertised feature that would be a con for this particular item. And we have the instructions. You already know what we do with these. It's USB. A, so let's plug her in. Instructions are really dry. Well, here comes the exciting part, folks. The remote has got your standard brightness up and down. Actually, they're not specifically brightness. These up and down selectors could have different functions when we get into the different options. Your on off, your RGB, and your mode. So I'm kind of interested to see what all that does. First things first, we're gonna turn this sucker on. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, as long as this is the maximum brightness it is, and as long as it is at the whitest mode, not the coldest or warmest, this thing's brightness sits kind of between that of my 12 inch light and my 10 inch light, which I kind of figured it would. I mean, I, I, I kind of figured it would. Yeah, they're all white. I was just checking to make sure. It is just a little bit, you know, that's kind of hard to say. Maybe I'll let you be the, uh, maybe I'll let you be the judge. They might, they might look the exact same on camera, but, um, boy, that makes my face look shiny. If I put that over there, instead of the eight inch, I might actually not get as much light. It's crazy to think of. Larger light, less LEDs, or same, but spread out. I guess the light could be more even though now. So, uh, we have the standard warm light, cold light, white light. And each of these, again, has its brightness level. So right out of the box, this is worth 20 bucks. Unless you need the shoe mounts on the sides for some reason. It's, it's a great price for a ring light, period. I don't care who you are. Go get this if you need ring lights. By the way, my camera has been really inconsistent lately. I've got aliasing and, and fuzz and anti-aliasing in just the weirdest places. Please disregard. Turn the white balance back on and see what that does. Anyway, turn this back to the white mode. And now, what kind of RGB do we have? Stuff that you're not going to be able to see on camera. Well, that's just fantastic. This is the, uh, you can kind of see that. It's very, very vivid what I can see, but I just can't see it on camera, which sucks. Let's, oh, there we go. Turn off the exposure, you can see it. It's a lot more vivid than it is on screen though. Oh, it's doing it by itself. It's just gonna cycle through the colors, I guess. And the colors are, with the exception of maybe that blue and that orange, and that's supposed to be green, and that blue is different. The colors might be quite a bit off from what you can see on camera. And add that to the fact that you can see a lot more white coming off this thing, more light. I don't see that at all in real life. I see just the color. It looks like candy. It looks like I could eat it. Then we have solid. So we have solid red, blue, red. This is the pulse in and out. And the up and down keys change the speed. Another crazy pattern. That actually looks pretty close to what it is on the, in, in real life. You get the... Uh, cycle through which is really interesting to watch you get three colors this looks like a loading symbol for a iMac you get snake you get snake the opposite way you get a really slow pulse which I have a feeling that's gonna cycle between colors over time you have dual color green and red if I hit up and down that changes the brightness on that as well so sometimes they change brightness and sometimes they change speed that is blue and purple there's that let's change the speed on that make it really slow that's trippy you can make it really fast more chasing colors that's also chasing colors that's a uh, uh, the green and blue purple and blue three primary colors this looks very childish in real life like in, in real life this is green blue and red it looks like mario colors and then they add the yellow to the mix so you have primary very childlike they add the violet to the mix and then that one adds the yellow oh yeah i forgot about that there's special effects so we have flash different sides flashing we we're pretending to be police officers i guess that's what that is and then the strobe that's probably not good to show on camera uh different strobes for the different temperature colors and you can strobe each of the solid colors. That's fairly boring stuff unless you really, really need it. And back to the solid color. So when you turn this off, will it remember our position? Yes, it did. I'm not going to unplug it. In fact, I think I'm going to get myself a power source now so I can attach all three of my ring lights 
to the same power source and have them uh the, my 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 two that i have now are not connected to my pc they actually run straight to the wall so i'll probably find a way to do that with this as well but i'm going to keep it and i'm going to keep it on white light and i'm going to attempt to learn the correct position for three point lighting so that my lighting will always be impeccable now perhaps you'd like to see what the effects of this are on me just because you know it's only been 12 minutes of your life that i've wasted why not why not waste a little bit more hey i like that that's pretty cool this is what matters more than the appearance of the light on screen the appearance of the subject that is being lit on screen but this is the uh several color chasing strobe thing it's purely for aesthetics to look at because you can't see that on me at all yeah that's nice okay mm, okay cool that's very yellow very purple this just looks like really bad color correction though like i don't know how to video edit oh blue looks nice though ah uh, this is pretty interesting on camera i like that i might have a reason to hit that sometime like a soundboard pulse i could see myself using the pulse for very slow transition this is kind of cool this is the all the colors chasing transition uh you don't see that effect really that's one color going in a circle you can kind of see that i should have tried to change the color these are the bi color and then this is two colors chasing each other that at least has some effect on the subject but i feel like my camera sensor is going to be trying to do extra work in terms of color correction unless I lock that. More chasing colors that you can't really see. This one's the primary colors chasing each other. You can kind of see an effect. Nothing else is really standing out here for me. Just the solids out of strobes. Oh geez. Um, yeah, might use this for a horror effect sometime. It's strange because it's only lighting up where it can find the shadow on my face because of the other light being constant. It's kind of a dope effect, really. I feel like I'm about to pass out, though, so I probably shouldn't keep doing that. Scary. Really works with the flannel. Did not work with the flannel at all. This one turns me into 3D if you're wearing the correct glasses. And, whoa, that one is really powerful. That's the yellow. That's the candy soft yellow. Laffy Taffy. That's what these look like. They look like the colors of Laffy Taffy in real life. Like, you, uh, you could just lick them. And then it would taste like plastic. Just like win-win. And I think that's it. These, we're back to the solid colors. And I'm going to set this on, I don't know. Did I have one that I really like? Maybe that one. So, if I go back to the white mode and then back to this, it saves its positions. Just like it does when we turn it off so that's it that's it there's nothing more to do here uh my recommendation is if you need a ring light this is the best value there is even if you do not need do not want the rgb effects whatsoever this thing is perfectly capable of doing what you need it to do which is lighting your face wish they'd come out with this first because i have spent now probably 70 dollars on lighting i hope that you found this video useful and i hope that you find my content useful at all as a budding content creator i hope that budding content creators in the future can find these videos and use them and find them useful does that make sense all right thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video please subscribe if you like the content and all that jazz i do appreciate that stuff and uh yeah bye trash outro roll the music <laughs>